Hey everyone, it's Steve the Nortel Guy coming to you from my lab in my garage in sunny Florida. Those things in the background that sound like bugs, that's what they are. Anyway, that is an 0x32 up there with several expansion cabinets on it. And I'm going to show you how to hook up music on hold to a 0x32. So what you need is some type of music source. It could be a CD player, radio, whatever can produce music, but it needs to have a headphone jack. So just using like a line output from a tuner or something won't work. And then what you need is some kind of way of connecting to that headphone jack with something that can give you some wires that you can use to send over to the phone system. So what I did is I bought this little gizmo online. It's got some little screw clamps right there. So, um, so here, let me show you what this is. Because this stereo right here that I'm gonna use as my music source has a quarter inch headphone jack, I had to put an adapter on there. But that little adapter that I got right there, it's a headphone jack on one end and screw terminals on the other end. And then I put my phone wire on those. But you can take like a regular headphone cord and just, you know, cut the headphones off and, and use the, the wires that are inside there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this to the music source and I'm gonna show you how to connect it onto the phone systems, uh, punch down blocks, which are either gonna be 110 blocks or 66 blocks. And then I'm gonna show you how to turn on the programming. All right, so I've got my two wires coming from the music source that I'm ready to connect. And I'm gonna tell you where to connect it, but finding that connection is gonna be a little tricky. So let me back up and explain. It needs to go on the yellow-orange pair of the second station cable. So let's look at our 0x32. You see how there on the right, there's three black connectors with those thick gray cables coming off of them? Well, the very top one is the first station cable. It carries station connections for 1 through 24. The second one, the one in the middle, is the second station cable. It carries connections 25 through 32. And then the bottom one is the trunk, sta uh, trunk cable. It, it's where we connect the telephone lines. So what you'll need to do through some kind of, you know, tracing it with your finger or tugging on it or whatever, is you got to find out where does that middle cable go, the one that's in the middle, where does that end up? Now, these things right here are called 110 punch down panels or punch down blocks. So you might have those. However, you might also have these. These are called 66 punch down blocks. And so once you figure out where that cable is ending, whether it be on a 110 block like these up here or whether it be on a 66 block like these, the nice thing is on the 66 blocks is you can kind of actually find it by looking. See, I can see right here. There's my yellow orange pair. See how it's yellow with orange spots and then it's orange with yellow spots. So that's my yellow orange pair. So if you find that on your 66 block and you know that's the second station cable, you can punch down onto the pins that are associated with that and that will complete your uh, audio connection. However, on the 110 blocks it's a little bit trickier because you can't see them. You can't see the colors. So I can tell you by counting. With 110 blocks, they almost always have this pattern of the you know the blue, orange, green, brown, and slate. It's gray, but in the phone world we call it slate. And uh, the yellow set is the fourth set. So um, so let's see. This is my first station cable. This is my second station cable. So this is one I want. Um, this is the white group, the red group, white red, and then the black group, and then the yellow group. Okay, so if you're counting oranges, it would be one, two, three, fourth. The fourth orange little spot right there. That's going to be my connector on my uh, 0 by 32 if I'm using 110 blocks. So I need to get that wire connected to that, and then I need to adjust the volume and check the programming. We'll do that in just a minute. Video, I'll just be taking this back off again. Anyway, dress your wire as needed. Locate the pair where you want to punch down. Sorry about my big old hairy arm right there in the middle of the screen. Um, and so, yeah, that's my pair right there. So I want to punch down, see, blue. So white, red, black, yellow, okay. You know, in, in the phone world, there is no concept of positive and negative, but when it comes to the, um, when it comes to music, there is. 
And so the wire that's in the center, which we would call the tip, or in the music, I think in the music world that would be a, a positive, you'll want that to be the first punch, and then the one that's the ground, or the, the, the braiding that's on the outside of the cable, you'll want that to be on the second uh, pin, okay? All right, so I've got my connection made, but I need to check my programming to make sure I'm programmed for music on hold, so we'll be right back. Now we're gonna enter into the programming mode to check the programming for the music on hold. So um, you can use either a new style Euro set or you can use one of the old style sets so long as it's got you know the buttons here at the top, which means it's a 7310. Anyway, so let's enter programming mode. Features, star star 266344. Password, or the default password is 266344. And then over here I've got my navigation keys, I've got my uh, forwards and backwards and enter. So I want to see, I want to go next until I see uh, system. System programming, there we go. I'm going to show system programming, the upper button. I want to hit the, the next key until I see feature settings. And then I want to hit the show key for that, feature settings. All right, I'm going to turn on background music, which is different than music on hold, but it allows me to demonstrate what I need to do. For you guys. Background music means it takes the same music source and plays it out of the phone speaker. And then I'm going to hit next. So you don't have to turn background music on. You can if you want. No big deal. Um, on hold. Okay, here's what we want. So where it says on hold, if it's set to music, great. You're fine. You can just exit. You're all set. If it's set to tones, um, you want to change it to music. And then of course there's also silence. But you want to hit the change key until you see the word music. Once you've got music, um, hit the, the next key one more time, and then you're done. You can you hit the release key to exit the programming. All right, so now I've got both background music and music on hold turned on for my system. Now I'm going to try turning on background music to see if I can hear this. So feature 86. Mattresses under 699.99. Wow, what, what you need to do Rose, top queen mattresses. Those are nice. is that I adjust the volume on the music source the it changes the volume on the phone. Okay, so what you'll need to do is you'll need another person. Well, I guess you can do this yourself. Is call in to one of your lines and then put it on hold and then adjust the volume on your music source. Remember your music source. So like I'm using this old portable stereo here, um, but you could use anything, CD player or, or Walkman or whatever, um, and then adjust that music source while the while the line is on hold. To get it just right. Also, one little recommendation: when you do this test to adjust the volume, don't use a cell phone. Cell phones just do a really bad job of um, relaying the, the 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 music sound. So, if you can use another landline, be that be the best way to do it. Okay. So, just to recap, you need a music source with some kind of headphone output. You'll need some kind of way of taking the headphone output and connecting it to a pair of um, phone wires. And then you'll need to connect that to the yellow, yellow orange pair on the second station cable. All right. And then you'll also need to go into the programming, go into system programming, feature settings, and then uh, look for uh, uh, music on hold and change it to say music. Okay. I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much.